my pig's pen. Uh, I did some improvements today on it. I went in and I had some old gutters that I had off my dad's house. And uh, I went in and just re re put them up. I, like I said, I just went ahead and here's the old holes that were in there. I just went ahead and put new ones. It's just on the pig's thing. So uh, what I did is I ran it at a little bit of an angle here. Let it hang over. I cut a, uh, I've still got to get some sillet and put in there. I cut the little place in there. Once I get it sealed, it'll be a pretty much watertight right in there. I didn't have any silicone, so. Then I took and ran it out of there. Ran it down the side of their uh, little barn here, the little shack. And then I uh, turned it, brought it over, and then I screwed the fence to the piece of pipe. And I'm going to get a bigger uh, bucket for them right now. That was the biggest bucket that I had. Uh, so once I got that done, I went ahead and put the uh, pad. I had an old pad that had the corner of it broke off. And I got in there and put it in there. And got everything done. Um, after I finished that, I went over to their, right in front of their feeding pen there, their little trough. They've been knocking that board up all the time, so I went ahead and took some 4 by 4s and did kind of like I did on that back part right there. I drilled some holes in there and the 4 by 4s up here in the front, and I drove stobs two different directions. Uh, one toward the kind of in that direction and then one in this direction. And then once I got through, I went ahead and... Uh, screwed the boards on there with some deck screws, some three inch long deck screws. But now when it rains, it, they won't, it won't be so muddy right there in front of their trough. And uh, when it rains, I can, I won't have to come in here and put water. Like I say, I'm going to get one of the, here I'll walk up here and show you, but like I say, it's all got fall on it there and then it falls down here and then goes in. So. Uh, I left it sticking through that far because I'm going to put a pretty good size uh, thing. Let me walk up here and I'll show you the the uh, goats um, water bucket. And that's the kind of water bucket that I'm going to put in there. Uh, I think this is a 10 gallon, if I'm not mistaken, is what that is. I can't remember. I think it's a 10 gallon pail. So, uh... Hey, Wiggles. Wiggles is laying there. Sneezy's all curled up, sleeping. And poor old mama, she's laying over there waiting to give birth. But, uh, yeah, I got their pen bigger, so they actually get to lay around a little more. But that's the kind of bucket that I'm going to put down there for the pigs to drink out of. So, all right, well, that's got that. And like I say, if you, uh, have a little place like that if you can just find some old gutters them the gutters there are probably close to 30 well maybe not 30 years old 20 years old maybe close to 30 i don't know he had some new ones put on and uh we just went ahead and i pulled down the old ones myself and i'll take and try to save stuff like that and i've had some sitting down there behind my building there so i took and got them out like I said, I didn't have end caps for them. Uh, this is not the prettiest way to do it, or probably not even, I mean, they have end caps, but I didn't have any at the time. So what I did is I just took and uh, I cut the end here along, and it was on out to here, and then I left a little piece so that you can see how that right there is, how there's a little lip. And uh, you just take and cut them and bend them. And like I say, once I put some silicone around inside there, uh, it'll pretty much seal it up. And then I just kind of capped it over right here with some, just some little pieces of screw to keep from getting my arm hit on it or anything. I didn't do that one down there because it is so tall up in the air. I didn't, you don't have to worry about nobody hitting it. I just bent this one back. But yeah, that's it. I took and poured some water on the, uh, on the roof up there and let it run down and it 
runs down fine and <clears throat> I don't know there's probably just a little drizzle right in here that comes out but not much most of it goes down into the pipe and runs off down into their water so all right I'm just gonna show you how I did mine y'all have a good one